In this Blender tutorial, we are going to learn to create a booleans on the cylindrical surface. As like this. I am not uploading too many modeling videos on this YouTube channel because I have started to learn the environmental design, animation and all that stuff. I upload that content on a daily basis, whatever I create on the CG Voice YouTube channel. If you are interested in this kind of content, then you can visit that channel. And now let's get started. To create this kind of cylinder design, you need to add the cylinder with the 64 words because we want to create a boolean on it. That's why you should give the more vertex count right there. Then you can scale the cylinder along the x and y axis in this way. After that, you need to go to the edit mode and then you need to add the center loop cut and then control B add a bevel on it. Add two segment bevel add there. Then give the proper bevel width. Then you can select these edge loops and then control B add one more time the bevel add there. Then select these edges and you can scale them along the x and y axis or you can press Alt S to scale it along their normal. Then you can select this top and bottom faces. Then you need to press the Ctrl B and add a bevel on them. And create this kind of form. Then you can add 3 loop cuts at here. And you can see, here are 4 faces at the center of this cylinder. Now we want to create a boolean add there. Then you need to add the cylinder with the 8 words. And then rotate this cylinder into the 90 degree. After that scale the cylinder along the y axis as like this and give it position at the right place here at the center of these four faces you can snap your 3d cursor at there and then you can snap your object at the position of the 3d cursor and then you need to adjust the scale like this and make sure you match the proper words at there and then you can scale it along the y-axis and give it position like this and then shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into the 90 degree then select both the objects and then one more time shift it to duplicate and rotate it into the 45 degree. Then select these objects and then join them and then select these two objects and then use the boolean operation difference in this way. Then you need to apply the boolean modifier and now you need to delete these faces, inner faces. So you will get this kind of holes at there on the cylinder. Okay. Then you need to select these double words and you need to merge them properly. So you can create right topology on the model. So this is like a time consuming process, just do it. And then you can select everything and then press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. Then select this edge loop and then press F to fill the gap in this way. Then you can select these faces and then use the insert operation add there. Then extrude along the normal and then scale it down in this way. Then use the loop tool and just try to create a simple boolean design add there. Then select these edge loops and then control B add a bevel on them and shape factor should be 1 and add a 2 segment bevel add there then hit the control 2 to add the subd modifier and now you can see I'm getting decent look at there on the model then you can select this edge loop and here also you need to add the bevel and add a 2 segment bevel add there so you can get this kind of curve design then you can select everything and then take the symmetry along the x axis and y axis then use the insert operation at here. Then delete these faces. Then select this edge loop and then face grid fill. Then take the symmetry along the z axis. Then you can add few more loop cuts like this. And then shade smooth it. And now you can see just because of the symmetry we faced little bit of difficulty at here. You can easily dissolve these double edges. So you can get a good form at there. Then you can select these faces and you can create right topology for them also and then press I for the insert operation then select these faces and merge them at the center and then dissolve this edge loop select this face and press M and merge at the center and then dissolve these edges so you can create a right cordless topology add there in this way we can create this kind of boolean designs on the cylindrical surface so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then please hit the like button and subscribe our youtube channel bye bye to the next video take care